What's bracken guys? Welcome to episode 8 of my Everton career mode. So get right in this episode with a fixture against Swansea City at Goodison Park. And the second match of this episode will be against Manchester United at Old Trafford. Definitely going to be a big match that one. But we'll get this one started off. Of course, Lukaku is still injured. So Selk is going to have to step up there up top. Pinar, who scored a big goal in the previous fixture in the Capital One Cup against uh, Newcastle United, is going to step in at left mid for us. So we'll see how he fares there. Of course, Morales has been tremendous but just finding that other position there um, next to Naismith on the left. Uh, we've been trying to figure that out. Or uh, if we are going to move Morales on the left, we would have that guy, the uh, the other winger on the right, of course. But, of course, Swansea City has very pacey players. Dyer, Montero, Shelby's a quality player. Uh, in spurts, of course, he's quite inconsistent in real life. But we'll see here. Very good opening chance in... Uh, just goes ball, looks like it's headed from distant, falls to Montero, and he's going to hit that header wide. Basically a wide open... Uh, header for the Ecuador Ecuadorian, excuse me, and uh, good play here from Naismith and Pinar. Naismith is going to accelerate and takes a good little shot. Selk is going to try to get that. He's going to hit the rebound off of the keeper. It looks like um, he did a good job showing some poaching ability, but unfortunately he could not get that by the keeper. But we'll see them coming back down on the wing. A good cross in. Ball is going to fall all the way to Dyer. He's going to hit that wide. Looks like it hit off of the the post and went wide there but now we're going to come back McCarthy good little one two here with Naismith a beautiful pass McCarthy's going to hit that first time try to hit nutmeg the keeper there but unfortunately was hit a little bit too hard for that but we'll come back again in the second half another big chance here ball through to Naismith going to play Selk through and he's going to hit the post so close to so close again uh, but of course both sides have had plenty of chances I'd say we've had a couple more but uh Still a very even match so far. We'll see Bain set up. He's going to try to take a shot. It's going to hit that over the the bar, unfortunately. So you can see that will end the matchup. A very good matchup either way. Um, unfortunately, it was, that Selk shot would have gone in. That would have been tremendous or McCarthy's chance. But unfortunately, it was a not a bad fixture. Now this is a big one here at Old Trafford against Manchester United. We want to repeat the... Amazing uh, win against David Moyes' squad, of course, in the previous season. Oviedo's goal was tremendous. I remember that like it was yesterday, but we'll see here. They have a pretty much a backup squad. They have Falcao on the bench, Di Maria on the bench, Mott on the bench, Van Persie on the bench. So we'll take it. <laughs> we'll have to try to take advantage of this. They have a rotated squad for whatever reason. It's not like they're in Europa League or anything, so it doesn't make any sense at all to me. But uh, we'll go in this matchup. We'll actually have to bench Naismith. He was pretty tired, so Barkley will step in behind Selk. PNR back on the left wing. But other than that, uh, no changes, basically. So we'll have to see if we can steal a victory here. Of course, it's going to be big for Selk. Uh, in this type of environment. We'll see Fellaini. He's going to play a little 1-2 here. He's going to get a lot of space. And Gibson is going to foul the former Toffee. The former Evertonian there. And he's going to be, they're going to have a good opening chance here. Only 5 minutes in. With a penalty kick. Clear penalty. Gibson just basically runs into Fellaini. As he's taking that. Uh, trying to take that shot. But we'll have to have the big man. The Of course another former uh, Red. Another former Manchester United player Tim Howard is going to step in goal pointing to his left and he's going to save that to his left as well what a save from Tim Howard on that penalty kick see some good little play uh, balls and he played through here to Steven Pinar he had really good game uh, early on good cross in just cannot fall away to Selk Fellaini of course does a good job you know tracking back he's just such a he can be a very good box to box player I uh, can just do chess about everything Herrera just goes through the defense like nothing but what a save from Tim Howard looked like one of the saves he made uh, against Belgium in the World Cup we'll see a ball played here good cross into Selk he's going to head that right at Lindegaard unfortunately so uh, that's definitely a bit disappointing but uh, a good chance we're getting a lot of changes here as Barkley's going to put this ball into Selk he's going to head that over the bar uh, that's again he's just getting himself into position hopefully he can break through he was so close in the previous matchup now he's getting himself in all these good spots we see a very good deflection from James McCarthy there to put that out for a corner kick come back here late in, later into the matchup good ball to Gibson look at that he's going to play the ball through to Selk some reason McCarthy gets into the way of the shots and I was pretty pissed off when that happened I uh, wish I had a live reaction for that incident I'll probably do some more live calm uh, coming up but uh, we'll see here McCarthy is going to find Morales out wide play the ball to Barkley 
who's going to get deep possessed, but Morales is going to come down the wing, going to send this cross. What a ball into Selk, and that is a huge goal from Selk, the youngster, of course. Probably the biggest goal he's scored in his young career so far. Morales, he just, when he plays on the left, he's really good, to be honest, when he can cut in and send a ball like that on his right foot. Look at that header, perfect header. Goes into the side netting. What a magnificent goal as we're going to have to try to hold on in this last 15 minutes at Old Trafford. Second goal in the BPL. Of course, he had a big goal in the Europa League in the previous episode as well. But you'll see here, we have to try to get this cleared. Um, but you're going to see another long ball into Van Persie. He's going to, a good header is going to hit the post. He just put tons of power on that. Whipped his head around, used all that neck power, but thankfully you would be able to hold on after that big scare. You'll see our uh, traveling supports in the stands. They're very happy to again uh, give the new coach, another new coach of Manchester United, a bad result, of course. And getting into the next episode, uh, we will be playing against Lille. Of course, the Europa League fixture. Look at that match congestion. Going to have to have a very rotated squad for both fixtures. So we see how that episode goes against uh, the likes of Lille and Burnley. But we'll get into the table now. Tremendous that win was over Manchester United. Have a game in hand over basically the majority of the table. And we are a uh, ahead of Manchester United as well so we definitely could catch up to Spurs uh, Manchester City and make uh, make some breathing room on Chelsea in the league try to push for that title who knows how that goes but uh, with that guys I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode I'll be signing out now and I'll catch you guys later